Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Harrowing. This is going to be an interesting one to try out. This is a donation deck from a viewer over on YouTube. What's up everybody on YouTube? Uh, we're going to be playing a deck that looks pretty interesting. All right, so what we have here is we have a deck that has a really powerful top end and kind of acts as more of a combo deck than a mid-range deck. So as you can see, we're going the full three harrowing and we're going to be bringing back Tiana Crown Guard. It's going to be rallying and Scythria. Um, you know, like think if we're bringing back multiple Scythrias and a Tiana and all that kind of stuff. We have Radiant Guardian against the aggro decks. Our decks are really good Chronicler of Ruin deck. If you look at like all of these things, they're great to Chronicler of Ruin, whether it's Vanguard Redeemer keeping our a hand refilled drawing units and then you know we can chronicler away draw another unit you know we can chronicler grizzled ranger that's always that's definitely great getting an, an extra grizzled ranger you know resetting radiant guardian um you know making that life steal tough again and obviously resetting tiana crown guard rallying again um lots of cool stuff here our champions are kind of just like more units we're not really building around the champions too much maybe a little bit more with Callista with, you know, just being able to have things die. But, you know, we're not really trying to protect the champions and, um, you know, have them take over the games necessarily. Like, Fiora is mostly a 3-3 challenger, which is a good card uh, for our three mana. And, you know, maybe we Chronicler and reset it, maybe. Or maybe we let it die, then go Redeemer, draw a card, you know, bring it back with Harrowing, that kind of stuff. But we're not playing all sorts of, like, protection for Fiora. So getting, like, winning with Fiora is probably not going to happen. Um, the thing I'm a little skeptical about is the two purifies. I, we don't have any unit that costs two and I, I'm skeptical about that. Um, looking at the list. Um, and then we have the oblivious Islanders, which are here, um, which I believe would be here for, for the most part for Tiana crown guard, making it easier to cast. I believe, you know, like Turning Grizzled Ranger into a three mana card is not bad, but then we already already we already have a whole bunch of three mana cards. Um, you know you can you can put it on like Redeemer and just have Redeemer be like a two mana draw something, um, I guess. And you know if you have something come in and die, then maybe you level up a Callista because of the Oblivious Islander. Um, and you know, like the more things that die is really not that big of a deal because nine mana harrowing, like that's not that expensive for a harrowing. We can have that as early as turn six. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. This Islander and Purify. I'm I'm skeptical this would be, that this is better than playing like Bright Seal Protector War Chefs kind of thing. You know, like how we know those two Demacia cards are so good together and great with Tracker and Fiora and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna play it and we're going to find out. So here we go. Let's get started. Um, let's go over with. Uh, let's get some Demacia sleeves in here. Yeah, those look good. And we'll get our Silver Wing. That's kind of like our Fleet Feather Tracker. Oh, we need some more of these. All right. Uh, you can come on in here. You can come on in here. Uh, whoops. Seems like this is a good Vi uh, emo deck with the I'm over it. Like, we'll just have things die. And we'll be like, yeah, I'm over it. Kinku Wayfinder Yetis. I haven't... Uh, I've thought about putting those together before. That's definitely a, a deck. I haven't, I haven't, but that's a deck that I have kind of had on, like, a list of, like, some, some things to maybe play in meme tier. And I tried putting it together one time and i don't remember exactly why i i just didn't like the look of the list and then and didn't bring it to the table um to have it on a monday but yeah it's definitely something we can do this, this could be decent purify like with shen and stuff this could be decent purify nothing wrong with Callista Chronicler. Do it with Shen also. Yeah, I guess whenever I was doing that, that was probably before the Shen before Shen got buffed. 
whenever I was taking a look at it. Oh, I should have attacked it too. Sorry, I was... Bad. And you try to use Shen's spell to swap him. Green Blade Lookout. It's interesting. I am one with the land. Skywatch formation. You do will never find peace. That's a good purify. Now they also don't they also don't get the other thing from Green Gray Green Glade Lookout. Wow. Wow, never mind. Alright, so I said I was skeptical about Purify, but it turns out opponents just concede immediately. We're in ranked, right? Yeah, we're in ranked. <laughs> well it just concedes immediately when they see that uh Purify. <laughs> It is OP. Got a nerf purify. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Sold on purify. It's kind of a weird list that opponent had. All right, so Ezreal, Ezreal Karma, but with Vi. That probably makes Ezreal Karma better. Than normal playing Vi. Hey, Royal Flush. Oh, the opponent was playing a swim deck? Okay. <laughs> Rex is like, wait, I just looked away. What happened? Yeah, they they went in for attack with their 2 1 against my 4 3. And. And I blocked with my 4-3. They tried to give it plus one, plus zero quick attack. I purified it. Said nope. And they were like, well, I'm out of here. That's it. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. One shot, all skill. That's a little bit of skill, maybe. That's gotta hurt. Not much. Good draw. That's a good draw. Yeah, yeah. More attacks. Static Shock's the most likely thing, and so it's nice to draw the uh, single combat to be able to respond with that. Alright, I'm still going to do it. And they don't get their 3-2, they don't get their target for Ezreal. Ezreal's gone. All of that. worth it. And that's why I didn't play anything on turn two, because I wanted to keep the mana available for Glimpse Beyond, but that also worked, having that mana available. Yeah, that card's good. Definitely makes their deck better playing Vi. Um, you know, as, as we've talked about a whole lot, I'm not really that scared of Karma Ezreal, but I am scared of Vi. Maybe they don't attack? I Hmm, they attacked. Justice will be served. Hmm.
Um, and we could just go straight to attacks and attack with both. Slow down, will you? Oh, no. Wish this was another <laughs> single combat. Can we just play like six single combats? Is that possible? Wish that was possible. Ooh, I like that card. I like that card very much. That card's pretty sweet with Grizzled Ranger, too. Time to get rowdy. Hmm. This is just going to get so much value. They can block the 5-5 five five if they want, and Excuse you. The one I think I have to kill much. a couple of things and my 5-5. Five five. Their 5-drop five killed my 5-drop and killed two other things. Not bad. But if we look at it, I still have 5 cards. They have 4 cards and then the two Mushroom Clowns. That are like partial cards. deny deck, which makes casting harrowing more difficult. I've trained my whole life for this. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. By my honor, you must die. Only I can quell the wind. Rose. Well, I really wish I would have just gone to attacks. Really wish I would have just gone to attacks. Proud about Yone. Stop bragging if you could back it up. Forgot about Yone. Firing. What is gained when he returned malevolence? Strike 
Quickly or go. What am I supposed to do? I guess I play stuff. It's not like their deck's just filled with spells. It's not like waiting is, or like it's not like going straight to combat is like that beneficial for me. That Yone was a killer. That was, that was where this game really flipped. That was a killer Yone. Did get a deny out of their hand. On the positive note. Purify does remove elusive, yes, but you can't target it on champions. I can't I can't purify. Play the the Islander first on the Chronicler of Ruin and let the Chronicler of Ruin die, and then we would have had leveled up Callista. Peace begins within. But yeah, so yeah, it removes any kind of text. What Purify removes any kind of text whatsoever from cards, but only works on followers. So this card right here is a unit. They put a key guardian on this thing. I don't miss. I'm not sure what that was. I was hoping to find Tiana Crown Guard with the draw unit. Two of those. Still have the Mystic Shant. Sure. I should have cast this a long time ago on the Eye of the Dragon, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have played that just a long time ago on that Eye of the Dragon. But this the turn I mean this game this game's most likely over. It's likely that they'll be able to just kill me. Right here, right now. For the honor of House Laurent. The turn I really messed this game up was um, Was whenever I played it what the what was it? Was it the Fiora or no, the Callista? Whatever I whatever I did right before the Yone, attacking would have been a lot better. But yeah, I should have purified that Eye of the Dragon. It's okay. I yeah, I think it was a Callista. The dragon binds us. 
that Vi was a killer too. Like, I haven't really seen very many people playing Vi in Ezreal Karma, and that that Vi was amazing, and the Yone was amazing. That was their two best cards that really let their combo happen and let them win. Yeah, it was Fiora. Yep, that's right. It was Fiora. I need Tiana Crown Guards. You know, there's three of them in here. This is the card we need. Just don't have Tiana Crown Guards. Alright, one and one. Good learning match. Good learning match for me. And great hand for the opponent. Every uh, they had the right answers. You know, they had they had the good answers at the good time. And they even had a couple of denies, like even if even if I could have cast hair, you know, even if I did cast harrowing any time that I could have, they had deny available. So like what what are you doing, Oblivious Islander? What What are you actually doing? I wish I knew what I'm supposed to do with this card. Yeah, reducing the cost of Crown Guard is the most likely thing. I basically so I'm only getting it here. Like opponent is, is a deck that's doing like one damage to a whole lot of things. Like they're you know this is a a make it rain deck, and I just don't really want the I just don't want want a handful of two ones against a Swain Twisted Fate control deck where they're just gonna like they're gonna have a bunch of parlays and make it rains and Twisted Fate red card and all that kind of stuff. Like I. I feel like just two ones are just gonna get, um, you know, just obliterated, and I would, I would get two for one and all that kind of stuff. Um, but now, this does help because now we can have seven mana Tiana Crown Guard, and that works out with our harrowing. So that works out. Seven mana, eight mana, T Tiana Crown Guard. Not. I mean, I don't. I don't have the original. Like turn seven, I don't have the attack token. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, um, turn seven, I don't have the attack token, so it's not. Um, it's not something that's super important. Am I just gonna get red carded? Should I have just attacked? Sorry if I, you know, because I hit the table a little bit there, and and that might have, uh, y'all might have heard that in the mic, and if so, I'm I'm sorry about that. Okay. So if I would have gone straight to attacks, they'd make it rain. So I'm glad we didn't. Um, I'm not gonna use single combat yet. Don't think that 3 2 is an important enough. I think that both champions, Swain and Twisted Fate, are so important that I want to save single combat for either one. Are you kidding me? What? Really? What are they doing? Hold it, partner. 
I didn't just want a red card. They wanted to use a Mega Rain also. They could have just gone red card and accomplished the same thing. They were scared of Rangers Resolve. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Let's do this. All or nothing. <laughs> What's up, Laser? Well, this is gonna get kind of crazy. Cythria, Tiana, another Tiana, harrowing back some Tianas. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Like, this deck can do some crazy stuff in the late game. This could be pretty crazy. Good card. Petty Officer. Very good card. I have not played against a single game of Degenerate Noxus Aggro today, as you put it. We are in game number 13. I have phased to zero. And maybe that's because I'm in Diamond and not in Masters, and all the Degenerate Noxus Aggro is just in Masters. But I have phased zero. <laughs> the only harrowings I've seen are the ones in our, in our hand. We haven't cast any yet, but those are the only ones that I've seen. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Lady Crown Guard, it's an honor. The honor is mine, Cythria. Let's go. Tiana. No. I'm like well then. You are insignificant. If only I had the one extra mana where I could purify my own Don't Cythria. I think I play Harrowing next turn. Well, that's a problem. Are we supposed to? Are we supposed to oblivious Islander our own stuff and then purify it so then it doesn't doesn't go away? Was I supposed to try to set that up? I bet that's what we're doing with our Oblivious Islander Purify. We're supposed to use those that combo together. I bet that's what we're doing here. Eyes open. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, 
Yeah, seems decent. Can handle a red card. Probably a gold card too. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, is purifying these things and taking away the the um, ephemeral. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Opponent rethinking their life choices. Safety <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's red card. We still get three fours. So now, um, easy. Now they they can play like a warning shot to gold card. You know, they, they can do that. That will take out the Tiana. And they block, block, they're there. They st still take 12, and they are at 12. Uh, 12 minus 12 is zero. So that's a surrender. How do you beat level up with the That was a pretty sweet combo, though, that we had. You know, like, that's that's what we want to look like against the control deck, where they're, like, killing all of our stuff. I think, I think against, like, the... The previous match, I didn't do a good job of having all of our stuff die so that we could harrowing it back. We also didn't do a good enough job of drawing Tiana. That was the card that I always wanted to keep drawing. I, I didn't want to harrowing until we had Tiana. That's what I was thinking. Like Tiana or Scythria. Like we just. We didn't have our top end the previous game. We just kept on drawing more Vanguard Redeemers and uh, Fleet Feather Trackers and Callista and Fiora. <laughs> Badger Bear finds your red card completely acceptable, Mr. Fate. Braum. Braum Swain. Possible that I'm supposed to just keep harrowing because this is probably just an amazing harrowing matchup. Whoa! Wow. We about to get ruined. <laughs> I need more. I need to do more emote stuff. Hello. This is a weird hand. Mono Shadow Isles. The Ruin is going to be chronicled very well. The amount of Ruin that there's going to be. People will know about it. Always two steps ahead. Chronicler on Tiana Crown Guard's pretty awesome. Maybe we just wait until, you know, turn nine. Like we play. Chronicler, you know, we play like Tiana Crown Guard turn eight, and then turn nine. War Mason, reporting for duty. Uh, we just start dropping double Chronicler and <laughs> just keep attacking. Virtue guides me. That sounds kind of cool. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Hmm. Hmm. Strike for justice. No I'll just pain. strike normally. Yay, no elixir of iron. Burns on. Cool. Let me show you. 
Dang. Water? I guess water. Like any of my plays this turn. What if I just do this? Meh. It's not very exciting. I long for a worthy opponent. I want the I want to play Tiana next turn and have it stay alive. And so I can start playing Chronicler of Ruin on it the, the following turn. Pretty risky attacking with Scythria because of because of transfusion. Like if they would have like tapped out more, you'll maybe attack with Scythria in this and try and take out the two three. Destruction feeds my fire. Yuck. But it's too it's too risky because then if they go transfusion on the. And pump up the um, Crimson Disciple. They kill my Scythria. Their Swain levels up. They can go straight to attacks. I have no blockers for Swain. They would be able to do that. Kill my Tiana. Maybe I should be attacking with the 3 1 to give me a backup plan. I didn't really expect them to block with the Swain TBH. I kind of thought they would take this. I mean, hopefully, we get to untap. Justify yourself. Darn. We're still probably just fine with harrowing doing some stuff and some things. I'll get those things. No Grizzled Ranger. That's a lot. Yeah, let's just do it. Other option is Grizzled Ranger plus Chronicler to get another Grizzled Ranger. 
So, you know, we'd have a 3-3, three, three, a 3-4, three, and a Grizzled Ranger. This is kind of all in, right? Like, I have nothing left. Because, like, this will all die at the end of turn. How am I even... Uh, I guess because he actually right. blocks the... So level up Callista. That's kind of cool. All right. Heroin. Three and one. This looks fun. I mean, I, I think I was I was still kind of in the learning phases whenever I lost that that uh, other game. But then also the opponent had like really good cards to line up. You know, like their one Vi. And I don't know if they're playing like one or two Yones. That was perfect too. They had some really clutch cards. And I was in the learning phases. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. Heroin is powerful. And our deck just in general. Didn't get to use our triple Chronicler of Ruin. That was sad. Alright, this is the most Make It Rain deck of any Make It Rain deck ever. Mmm. Super slow. No, should have mulliganed. No, what is this? I don't want those cards. Definitely don't want Purify. So I want to draw Oblivious Islander now. Yeah. Wait. I guess we'll we'll do that later. Get him, Vanguard Redeemer. Three mana, three, three. What you gonna do about it? Nothing? How do we do that? It's positive thoughts. You gotta just envision like whenever this card's coming up and it's starting to turn and it's going over here to your hand, just be thinking, you know, just be thinking like that mana cost, what the art looks like. You know, just watch it show up and it will, will, it will show up for you. all the po positive thought and just think of like what it will look like Slow down, will you? so my plan is to oblivious islander the tiana probably? and then have and then purify the tiana I guess tiana won't be tough anymore after that So I, I didn't want them to kill my Vanguard Redeemer. I wanted to Chronic... Like, if they did not kill Vanguard Redeemer, I was going to play Chronicler, not Grizzled Ranger. I would have Chroniclered the, the Vanguard Redeemer. That was my plan. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Plan didn't work, but that was, that was the plan. Now I'm likely waiting on... Man, Omenhawk is such a great card to hit off Petty Officer. I'm telling y'all, Petty Officer... Good card. Let's see, what, next turn's turn six? Yes, this is fine. So I'm not, now I'm going to Chronicler of Ruin this Tiana later. Maybe it's better not to attack and wait for like Scythria. Is that a thing? Nah. Is it? Nah. All 
All right, so I just realized that the slow down, will ya? Quote from for the Grizzled Ranger directly relates to its usefulness in slowing down aggro decks by giving you a three power blocker that's hard to remove. Uh huh. So yeah, it's telling aggro decks to slow down because you get you get the one blocker. They if they remove it, you got a second blocker. Backing it up. Please don't have thermogenic beam. Please don't have thermogenic beam. Please don't have thermogenic beam. Pass turn. Pass turn. Pass turn. Pass turn. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Cythria plus Tiana, pretty awesome because you get like the the plus with the fearsome, and then you get to attack with that again. With the plus with the fearsome. The honor is mine. And I'm going to purify before attacking, so then it gets the plus one, plus one fearsome after the purify. It's not going to be tough, but then next turn we can, we'll Chronicler of Ruin the Tiana to make it tough again. Um, I won't have enough to man it's a chronicler plus radiant guardian and then yeah even if they can survive all this then we got some harrowings i mean they can still ezreal kill me it's not like it's not like we're definitely winning this game We're figuring out our combo deck. It's not easy for PNZ Bilgewater to just deal with 8-8s. Eight not easy. Probably less easy to deal with 7-7 seven, seven toughs. That Omen Hawk was really nice though, you know, like doing extra damage. Like that that Omen Hawk really has helped my opponent quite a bit. Like, this thing should have three health instead of two. They should not be able to trade here. And Omenhawk was really big. Yeah. I mean, now they get to kill that 5-2. That was perfect for them. No, I did, I did not come up with this deck. This was a deck that was submitted by a viewer from YouTube that uh, did a $10 donation to check out the deck and everything and uh yeah this is a this is a pretty sweet one that's what we're going with I, I didn't make any of these decks today these were all like that's the two d's up here I mean donation decks these are viewer submitted decks that people donated for Love to see Deal me in. eyes open okay i'm gonna go uh, let me go with this fleet feather tracker first Maybe surprise him a bit. Ezreal leveled up. Give them some more chance to use mana. And now we have Tiana die. So now that Tiana's dead, Harrowings are going to be bringing back Tiana's for future turns. <laughs> People in chat love that emote. <laughs> Seriously, can start buying coins just to get that emote. That's a. It's such a good one.
such a good one. I don't. I wish people just didn't feel so bad of you using emotes. I, I want to do the Fiora. Come on. I don't want to make people mad though. I should discard a mushroom cloud. That makes sense. And now we'll be going back to our turn where we get to attack again. So they have to answer this Tiana Crown Garden. Oh man, that's so many rallies. Uh, please have an answer. I don't want the game to be over yet. Come on, kill it, kill it. But I... I mean, you're not supposed to just play Harrowing, but man, I want to. I don't, I don't know what they're supposed to have as an answer for a 7-7 tough. Burst speed. I know, we could have done so much. If it wasn't for that Fleet Feather Tracker that killed my opponent's Twisted Fate, then they would have been able to block with it and not die. If only I could give them like 40 life, 50 life. <laughs> oh, I, I wrote a loss? Whoops. Losing too much recently to use that. Four and one. There's not like a reveal hand button. You can't be like, still had all these. Yeah, this is definitely a fun deck to play. We played against a bunch of slower decks, which I think I think really helped us out because uh, you know we didn't do very much on turn one or turn two very often. So we played against like the slower decks that just gave us time to set up and you know get the value train with like Grizzled Ranger going. You know that card looked good against those slower decks, and you know kind of get them on their their heels, and then boom, Sithria, Tiana, Herring, bring them back. Um, but yeah, I like that that Chronicler on Tiana. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, so we're, we're a combo deck with the Oblivious Islander and the Purify. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we had like four more rallies in hand. Um, uh, and uh, and everything. We, we do have three Radiant Guardians that help us out against aggro, but I, I do feel like aggro would be kind of tough. That's, that's where like Fiora and Callista help though against aggro decks. Like just... You know, three mana three three challenger and three mana four three. Those are both good blockers early on against the aggro decks. And Grizzled Ranger slows them down, and Radiant Guardian. Then after that, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure if playing Oblivious Islander Purify is better than just playing two drops that that can also slow opponents down and just be threats. You know, whether you want to play Blinding Assault uh, to just be a cool little two drop there or bright steel protector war chefs that kind of stuff i'm not sure i you know i was i wasn't super super sold that like oblivious islander purify was amazing now i do have to say that islander making tiana cost seven that was really nice that's the one great good or like that's basically the one reason to play the Islander is seven mana Tiana was pretty awesome. Like we got to Tiana a little bit earlier, you know, maybe get underneath like a Riptide Rex, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, it was nice having seven mana Tiana that really fit the curve quite well. Um, so I was happy with that. Uh, and yeah, this is just a, a fun deck to play. Just happy with it overall. Um, so yeah, it's like any suggest you know like then it said like any suggestions to improve the deck. Um, I I mean I like this three through nine like just all of these three ofs. I honestly like it. I mean I'm a fan of Vanguard Redeemer. I'm a fan of Chronicler of Ruin. I like the Radiant Guardian against Aggro and with the single combats with that. I like it and I think that really these I like it like these are the three cards here. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven slots are like the ones that I'm the most questionable about. Even Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond looked great for us, 
but we've played against all slower decks, and I don't think that this is a card that you'd really be playing against aggro too much. But maybe it, you know, maybe it works out. Maybe there's just enough slow decks that, that it's that it's just fine. Um, but these are the seven slots that maybe, you know, could be um, those cards that we talked about. War Chefs, Bright Steel Protector, stuff like that, potentially. Um, you know, but maybe not also. Mage Seeker Conservator would not be necessarily a bad card to have here where it can create some expensive spells, uh, like if you're kind of running out of gas or need something else, or if you need, just need spells, because our deck is just filled with units and has so many units, sometimes you just need like that spell. Um, that could be another card to think about. Um, I don't love Dark Water Scourge too much, but if you want to go, because uh, yeah, even that with like Purify, I, I don't love that, honestly. I, I would probably rather have Dead Bloom Wanderer than Dark Water Scourge. Honestly, like I'd rather have the Wanderer. But the thing is, you already have nine three mana cards. I I would want I would want these I would want these three cards to cost one or two mana. Uh, I guess these three: the Islander, Glimpse Beyond Purify. I think they have to cost one or two mana. I don't think you go up into the three mana stuff. I think you already have a ton of threes, a bunch of fours. Like you're not yeah these seven cards have to cost one or two mana but you know you can you can kind of um you can kind of play around with trying out different things you know whether it's even like arachnid horror like that's that's an underrated card do you want to try mage seeker persuader to go along with the harrowing you can you can um but yeah those are things to think about uh which which card cabo where you could do exclamation point card. Yeah, which one do you want? All right, anyway, um, that's it here for Fiora Harrowing. Definitely really impressed with it. Thank you so much for the donation deck here. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments also if you give this one a try. Let me know how it's going for you. I hope you're having a lot of fun with it. And also those seven slots, let me know. Do you like uh, those y'all on YouTube? Do y'all like, like the Islander Purify? You know, get that combo going. Get that Tiana at seven mana. That looked pretty good. Do you like that? Or is there something else? you have any other suggestions for one or two mana cards there? All right, but that's it here for Fiora Harrowing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.